it should be over. But, once again, anyone's belief in the age of the earth comes down to how they believe the strata form. Yes. And John 5, 46 is a major statement. Jesus said, Moses wrote of me. But if you believe not his writings, that is, having to do with a literal recent creation mm -hmm. and a worldwide flood, if you believe not his writings, how should you believe my words? And Absolutely. Jesus Absolutely. put the whole thing together. And once again, the humanistic, religious, secular worldview is based on the exact same sedimentary layers of rock that the young earth is, is based upon. They just say they didn't form in a flood. They formed slowly over billions of years of death and suffering. The Bible says, no, those layers were laid down in a flood, and death and suffering didn't come along until man sinned. Then the flood buried the, the fossils that we yes. find today. Plus, those layers are all interlaced with polystrate fossils, tender fossils interlacing them, showing it was one composite event. Exactly, and we'll talk about let's we'll talk about those in, in just a moment, because that's great proof of the of the flood. But here's a textbook. Kids are taught that the strata formed slowly over millions of years. But Dr. Ball, let me ask the folks out there who saw. The strata formed slowly over millions of years. It does not. That's a religious belief. Yes, it is. And the carbon-14 dating refutes that belief. In fact, about, it's about eight years ago now in China, scientists found a fossilized fish in the bottom of the Cambrian. Well, this is the time where the evolutionists said only single-cell bacteria and paramecium yes. survived. Well, the, the fish was only an inch long. So what's the big deal? Well, it has gills and a central nervous system, and evolutionists say these didn't come along for 500 million years later. Yes. This had the atheist Chinese communist scientists calling the American scientists closed-minded bigots because they wouldn't consider the fact we just might have been created. Yes. In fact, out of frustration, the lead Chinese scientist stated, and this is a profound statement, in China, we can criticize Darwin, but not the government. In America, you can criticize your government, but not, not Darwin. Darwin. <laughs> Something that needs to be changed. Well, do we, uh, where do we want to go, right here? Yes. Things, the f simple fact is that things must be buried quickly to become fossils. Otherwise, they lie on the surface and rot away or get eaten by scavengers or bacteria. We killed 100 million buffalo on the Midwest Plains 140 years ago, but you don't find fossilized buffalo everywhere because they laid on the surface and rotted away or were eaten by scavengers. That's right, in a matter of of months or years at best. Exactly. Now, this is an ichosaur. It was buried while giving birth. This uh. is a major fossil. I have seen the original of this from the Soldenhofen uh, layering. I've seen this in Vienna, Austria. Would you describe, Professor, what's going on here? Well, obviously, this ichosaur got buried extremely suddenly and unexpectedly by a massive aqueous event and mud flow and it was buried while giving birth and obviously didn't have time to lay on the surface and rot away. In the process of actually giving birth, that ichthyosaurus was impacted in this global context, in this global flood, and impacted so rapidly. Here are some of the polystrate fossils that we were discussing a moment ago. Give us a moment on that, please. Well, once again, the textbook just told us that the strata layers form slowly over millions of years of time, but polystrata fossils traverse multiple strata layers. So, what, we're supposed to believe, these are tree fossils, by the way, we're supposed to believe that the trees stood there for millions of years, Impossible. waiting for strata to build up around them. Some of these are upside down. And if How? you look very closely, <laughs> you can see the slight change as the mud flowed around these in one direction. Mm -hmm. You can see a change sure can. here as the mud flowed around this. This does not represent millions of years of evolutionary time. It represents uh, weeks at the most. At the most. And in fact, we've seen them form quickly at Mount St. Helens. Yes, we and have. During the global flood, trees were uprooted. They floated horizontally on the surface until they waterlogged, and the heavier end, usually the root end, turned and it floated upright. Eventually, it sank to the bottom, floating against the bottom in the upright position as the flood was laying down strata layer after strata layer, forming polystrata fossils very quickly, not slowly over never seen millions of years of time. Excellent demonstration, excellent explanation. Here we find in closing a graphic of how quickly these materials, uh, the sedimentary layers, formed, were bent, another layer formed, additional layers formed and were bent, another layer formed consistently in all directions, meaning 
that this is not a horizontal plane of millions of years, tens of thousands of years, all of this in a recent composition. Absolutely. That brings us to this conclusion. The pre-flood world offered the optimal conditions as designed by the Creator. Under these conditions, we had greater atmospheric pressure. This uh, verdant green that we see throughout the fossil record grew luxuriantly under this context, but because of the wickedness of man, we have a global episode. This explanation, inside the Earth, have concentric rings with radioisotopes, radioactive materials that formed a perfectly balanced nuclear reactor. At the time of the flood, this was dismantled. At the time of the flood, this was expunged. Therefore, we get, as we examine, as we grind up the rock, various radioactive materials all mixed together. That, too, is evidence for the flood. Absolutely. There was a world wide episode where the judgment, righteous judgment of Almighty God was exercised. Now there was an escape from that flood in the ark. That ark was a beautiful composite picture of the refuge we have in Jesus Christ. At this moment, Jesus Christ is knocking at your heart's door. He wants entrance. Would you just pray this simple prayer? Just pray it with me. Dear God, I've been misled by the world. I'm a sinner. I need your forgiveness. Right now, I open my heart to Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, right now, step into my heart and live, and I will serve you with all my heart. Creation in the 21st Century has been sponsored by Trinity Broadcasting Network. And only with your love gift of support can this program stay on the air. So write to Creation in the 21st Century, P.O. Box A, Santa Ana, California, 92711. Creation in the 21st Century is a unique program on TBN combining biblical knowledge with scientific verification. Much of the information that I use on the program is available. Contact us. Just write Creation Evidence Museum, P.O. Box 309, Glen Rose, Texas 76043, or call us at 254-897-3200. We look forward to hearing from you today.